All right, you guys, I'm heading back out to the ponds. I haven't been too motivated to go out the last couple of days just because on Saturday, I sat in one spot all day and fished. It was pretty successful, but it's still, it was still a little bit draining, so I just haven't had any motivation to really get out uh, in the last couple of days. But I'm getting out today, and I'm gonna be trying out two different techniques. I'm gonna be trying out a new drop shot rod that I just got, and I'm trying some, some new lures. I love my Z-Man lures, so picked up some finesse worms for the drop shot and I'm going to be throwing a big worm a Texas rig now when was it about a week ago I lost my hat fishing the bass tournament uh, in the bass boat it just flew off so I had to get another hat so I'm really excited I just got my new hoo rag hat and it's rocking my favorite technique Texas rig I love the Texas rig so I'm gonna be throwing a giant worm Texas rig and we'll see what happens I'll see you on the water Came up and took it. <laughs> Small little dink fish, but I was bringing it in and nailed it right next to the shore. So I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. Nice. Well, these are a bunch of little dinks, but man, they are fun. It's fun to get little catches. So, small little dink, but still fun, enjoying it. Man, I love these worms. These things just keep going and going and going and going. And it's like, it just, you save so much money on them. Because you're just able to keep using them over and over and over and over again. I mean, I fished that last tournament on one bait the entire time. All of those fish, the, well, I scored six and caught seven. Yeah, I think that's what it was. So on seven fish, same worm. It's just, it's my favorite bait. And I feel like the more often it gets bit, the better the worm reacts. The more it gets loose and everything, and it just, oh, I just love them. Where do I wanna go? Do I wanna go down that way? I think I do. I think it will be better. There we go. Another small one. tiny ones. I am using a drop shot though, so. Well, drop shot can catch big ones, but I'm using a tiny worm, so. I 
There we go. And this is a little guy. <laughs> Check out that little guy. Ugh. a decent one. That is not bad for, for what I've been doing. This is not a bad one. Nice hook set. Perfect right there in the side of his mouth. Care about those pliers. Here you go, guys. A little bit bigger fish, probably about 10 inches, but not bad for what I've been doing. There we go. Another decent one. Well, decent in comparison. Ugh. Come on, stop, buddy. You're all tangled up. There we go. <sighs> Another nice little, maybe 10 inch fish. So, little bass. These guys are so fun to catch. So, there you guys go. Well guys, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it out there. It's not too hot, but it's just humid and kind of muggy and stuff, so I'm kind of sweating. But I sweat pretty easily anyways. I love pond fishing and I love fishing finesse. It's just so fun to me. Uh, it's really relaxing. I enjoy throwing a lighter rod and even if it's small bass that are biting, just like today, it just makes it feel like it's that much better of a fight with a light rod. So I had fun, I enjoyed it. Hopefully the footage comes out pretty good and I look forward to seeing you guys next time on the water. I have some things in the works uh, coming down for giveaways and stuff. So stay tuned because you're going to like it. I'll see you on the next episode. Also guys, if you want a little bit of extra content, check me out on Instagram. I have a couple of videos and pictures that you won't get to see on the YouTube videos. See you later.